Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna explain to you guys what is better for your Toyota 5W20 viscosity or 0W20. Don't worry about the brand, it's not the purpose of this video. First I wanna take, thank everyone for supporting this channel through buymycoffee.com. There is a link as you can see on the screen and in the comment section the most common question that I get can I use 5W20 in my Toyota Lexus? And I always ask, why? Why use sticker oil? So I'm gonna give you a history, guys, on why Toyota used to use 5W20 and no longer using it, or they still, or in some cases, they are still using 5W20 in some places outside of US. And that's the, that's the comment that I see very often. Well, Toyota using it, somewhere else but not in us why is it well i'm going to explain to you i'm going to start with the history where toyota were using the 5 double tory why they were using the 5 double tory why they went away from using 5 double tory and many people claim because of the fuel economy claim that zero double 20 provides better fuel economy well no one has able to provide any proof that 0W20 provides better fuel economy than 5W20. I haven't seen any lab results. I haven't seen any scientific proof. The only thing I see is just people talk about it. Going back to 90s and prior to that, early mid 2000s, Toyota was using 5W20 as their preferred oil because it was conventional oil and conventional oil, you cannot get lower than 5W. You could get probably 5W20 but Toyota decided 5W20 worked better for their vehicles and they stuck with it. Because 5W20 was used in colder temperatures or preferred year round. So Toyota gave a chart. Toyota gave, gave an option to people. So if you're in a cold climate, use 5W20. If you're in a warmer climate or in the summertime, use 10W20. So that was the thing with the conventional oil. Plus, keep in mind, oil change intervals were, were either 3,000, three months, or six months, 5,000 miles with conventional oil back in the days. This is the reason why Toyotas were never known for engine problems when Toyota had 3,000 miles oil change intervals. There were no such thing as engine problems. When people followed and changed every 3K mile, oil or three months whichever come first and then when they start increasing to six five now it's a ten thousand miles and a lot of problems a lot of sludge build up a lot of oil consumption issues now they recommend zero w20 why zero w20 oh. why did toyota recommend thicker oil for the summertime 10 w20 the reason why Toyota recommended thicker oil for the summertime because Conventional oil becomes too thin. 5W20 as a conventional oil will become too thin to provide a proper lubrication. That's why Toyota and other brands always use thicker oil. 10W20, some 10W40 or 5W40. So when oil gets hot, it provides better lubrication. But thinner oil, they use in the winter time, so it's easier to start. So with less wear on the engine, so you have instant lubrication. That's the reason why they use. But then, as technology with oil sketched up, many car manufacturers, including Toyota, switched to 0W20. And they start using it year round, especially here in US and probably Europe. Why? Because 0W20 provides lubrication year round. Fake synthetic oil, or true synthetic oil does not thin out when it gets hot unless it's being pushed to like to the extremes then it be could become an issue and again fake synthetics or true synthetics oil 0w20 viscosity does not become too thin that's what Toyota uses them because it provides a year-round protection it's good when the engine is hot in the summertime when the engine is cold, it provides a proper lubrications because modern Toyota engines with VVT, 
with variable valve timing, needs thinner oil, otherwise can phasers issue will be common thing like with some other brands that use thicker oil. Keep that in mind, just because it's thicker, it does not mean better. They use thicker oil with conventional because conventional oil will thin out with a heat. Fake synthetics or true synthetics don't have that problem unless they push beyond. That's when you start racing. When people race, then, then they switch to like 5W40, maybe 10W50. But that's what we're talking about extreme racing, extreme horsepower in applications where engines get really hot, you know what I mean? Oil at 250 to 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That's when you need those, those heavy oils, thicker viscosities to protect the engines. Modern engines do not need thicker oil or you're going to have problems. For example, BMW is one of the brands that is have earned a bad reputation for their variable valve timing system. Why? Because they pushed 5W40 year round. In the summertime, it's probably fine. Winter time, no. Too thick, you start the engine, components were out, and before you know it, before the warranty expires, engine problems. All kind of, why? Thicker oil. Now BMW cut up. Took them years, what, 20 years? 20 years to realize that thicker oil for the regular cars adds no value and it's not needed. It does more harm than good. That's why they, they start using 0W20. And now you just don't hear those problems anymore with their variable, variable, variable valve timing system. It's not called VVTI, it's different. You can come up with all kinds of names, but functionality is still the same. So, what about outside the US, why Toyota is using it? So what other countries are using? For example, I was able to find a lot of people say 5W20 outside US. Well, is it really true? Well, it's partial truth, other countries. But you gotta keep in mind, other countries that use 5W20, well, let me show you what I found first. So this is, so what other countries are using in Toyota vehicle? 5W20 or 0W20? People say 5W20 and they want to use it here. Keep in mind, other countries have higher temperatures than US. This is the website. As you see, it, you can go yourself and check it out. We used, I'm going to use Land Cruiser and I'm going to use Toyota Camry and I'm going to show you what they use in this country. Dubai, here is the, the bottom. So, this is what they use for Toyota Camry. Hybrid, non-hybrid. What is preferred oil? 0W16 is preferred. But, they can use other viscosities. 020, 520, 5W20. Even 10W20, if the temperature is about zero Fahrenheit. Well, because it's hot up there. So are they limiting themselves only to 5W Tory? Absolutely not. Something else they want to keep in mind that people very often say other country. In those other countries where they use 5W Tory and 0W16 and 0W20, look how often they require you to change the oil. Every 6,000 miles or 12 months because it says right here, whichever comes first it says right here whichever comes first 6,000 miles or 12 months in US Toyota is pushing 12 months or 10,000 miles however let's take a look at a bigger more powerful engine uh, the Toyota has up there in those countries they drop the V8s like they dropped it here as you can see, they have even diesel option, they have a gas option. Here is the countries. Here is the website link. You can verify if you want it. So the V35 is the twin turbo engine. Let's scroll down. So here is a six cylinder, one GR EFE. Here is the V35 engine, six cylinder, twin turbocharger. And what kind of oil does Toyota recommends? And there is a diesel. Oh, look at this. 
Zero W one is the preferred oil, even for those countries that have hotter climates, much more hotter than US. Even zero W one is preferred. But you can use 520, 520, even 1030 up there. Something. So, should you be using 5W30? Take a viscosity in your vehicle or 10W30. Use the viscosity defined in your owner's manual. If it says use 0W20, use 0W20. If it says use 520, use 520, whatever it says. If you want the ultimate engine protection, you have two options. With a fake synthetic oil, just change it more often. With a true synthetic oil, high quality, do long extended intervals. It's your call. If you choose to use fake synthetics, change more often. With a true synthetics, high quality oils, use as they designed. Use for a long time. Uh, drain intervals. If your engine is designed for 0W20, don't use 5W20. If you want to use 5W20, then use it only in the hot summer months. But if you believe that your owner manual is wrong and you should be using thicker oil, my advice to you, use the thinner oil for whatever, 3,000 miles, 5,000 miles, send it to the lab. Switch it to thicker oil F through the same time, same months, same driving, and run a thicker oil and compare the difference. It's not going to cost you thousands of dollars to do the testing, to do the sample, to send the sample to the labs. And if you see that thicker oil provides you, uh, gives you less wear on the engine, then you know the thicker oil works better for your engine for those months that you want to use. But otherwise, without lab, with doing lab results, you can do research and find another te test results. My channel has a lot of lab results available for you guys to make your own decision. You know, you can ask me for my opinion. You can ask me for my recommendation. And I can give you that too. So I want to thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and share this video with others.